right, so as you saw it, uh, the Infinity finally came in. This is the build that uh, I've talked about a few times on the channel that I was waiting on. Uh, sold some staccatos so I uh, can make it happen. Uh, super stoked on it, super excited. Some of you guys have probably seen it on Instagram. Uh, but I just wanted to give a quick overview of it, uh, a little bit about the process and how I ordered, uh, what I went through, and you know the wait period, and my initial impressions of the pistol. So go ahead and open up the box. Comes in this nice case. This is one of the newer cases, and I think he's going to be doing some specialty cases with the drops that he's been doing. Um, so here we go. We got the pistol. We're going to be doing the SRO on this one. Here it is in all its glory. The paw of panda. Or the panda, whichever. So, uh, very beautiful pistol. Very well made. Uh, all expectations have been exceeded on this. Uh, couldn't be happier. Um, shot it a couple times so far. Uh, probably about 600 rounds. Just got it second cleaning. <clears throat> uh, a little bit about it. Uh, I ordered this back in January of last year. And... Uh, I decided that I really wanted one finally. Uh, I shot uh, Brandon, a uh, TX gun nut on Instagram's, Instagram's uh, Infinity when I was out there in Texas last uh, the October before last, and that was kind of it. So we'll kind of get to that, um, you know, kind of like what the levels are here, but this is a great, I mean, it's a really cool pistol. It, it's, it's a great pistol so far. I'm very stoked on it. Lots of attention to detail. Uh, the fitment is nuts super tight no wiggle anywhere there's no play it's the the safeties are super positive it's it's silly um but yeah so i ordered this back in last january um i placed my order i had my or sorry i had my one hour session with brandon to basically go over everything that i wanted uh gave him my design ideas and he kind of gave me his input on what can be done and what can't be done with these pistols as far as like what you can do in, in the designs and um, different uh, like avenues you can go and, and lengths and things like that. So I went with a 4.5 inch ported barrel. They have a very unique porting system. It's very cool and it does work. Um, <clears throat> that I asked him, I wanted the most balanced pistol. I was like, what, what do you think is the most balanced? And he said, it's the 4.5 inch. Um, I knew I wanted to go ported. Uh, he's got the hybrid barrel. Uh, when it's when it's all cleaned up, I mean, you can you can't even feel where the slide stops and the barrel starts. I mean, it's just super smooth. Um, I did want to do the three large serrations. I did not want to break through to the um, light rail, so uh, they stop right here in the frame. But I wanted a full frame pistol. Uh, I did want the design up here in the top under the optic, so I did a panda or three pandas, a pot sticker. And then a bowl of rice with a couple chopsticks. You can, it's kind of hard to see, but there you go. Um, yeah, and then I wanted it essentially like a hard chrome or silver uh, and color blocked it. That's why, uh, you know, you got the black, you got the silver, the pistol itself, uh, the grip and the trigger and, and a lot of the um, accessories here, the, the controls and stuff are, are black except the mag release. Uh, this one, you know, got, got in silver, super smooth. Uh, the fitment is just silly. So it was a long wait for it. Um, but obviously, you know, it's all custom. They have to tool for it. They have to get the artwork in. They've got to test, uh, test it on other materials, uh, to see how everything comes out to make sure it's coming out properly. And, you know, I, once again, I couldn't be happier with it. Um, so I was originally quoted eight to 10 months. This one took a total of 12 months. I know they ran a little bit behind because they had an influx of orders and, you know, things going on and they had some events and 1911 syndicate put out their video. So, uh, definitely very busy guys over there. Um, this pistol I did order, uh, with the shooter's kit. So let me set this down, show you also what comes with it. If you do a shooter's kit, shooter's kit's going to come with extra springs. So it comes with for mine, it had 20 extra springs. You're supposed to be changing those every 2,000 rounds. Uh, main springs. Comes with a new ejector that's fit and finished for the pistol. Uh, it's got a new sear. The extractor, uh, extractor claw. And it's got the, because uh, they got they run a different system. So it's, a, it's got a, uh, the screw and then the spring for it. They also got the uh, fire, a spare firing pin and extra firing pin springs. Uh, another fitted uh slide release 
that's already coated and matches matched up to the pistol. And then mine came with a tool for the optic screws because I, I had my own optic. I didn't uh, send my optic off for them to mount it. Then I also did, uh, so that those extra parts are, it's a $500 kit. Everything's already fit to your gun. I believe that gets you around the 25 to 50,000 round mark. Then you can swap a few of these parts if needed. And the other thing I did, I did get a total of five magazines with the pistol. Uh, the gun usually comes with one magazine and I did it uh, with four extras. So Brandon's super cool. Uh, I sent over some swag and stuff. Uh, sent me some shirts and uh, one of their gun pads or their cleaning mats and it's super nice. Um, super uh, attentive. As soon as I called, you know, just to check on things, they'd answer and let me know. Um, I wouldn't recommend calling all the time. Uh, I only called a few times just to check on the status, see where we're at, make payments and things like that. So, you know, I, I think I, I paid it in two payments. Uh, the cost of this is like three staccatos. So I did get rid of a couple of those to, to make this happen, but this was a dream of mine. So it's really hard to put it into words about these pistols unless you hold it um, and you shoot it yourself. You can't really describe what it's like. I mean, it's just a very nice shooting pistol. I mean, it's, it's incredible at the end of the day. Um, I held off for a long time. I was a big time STI staccato uh, person. I still am. I love those pistols uh, for the price. You're not going to beat them. And so I, uh, I've been wanting one of these for quite some time, uh, many years. And one of my buddies, Brandon, uh, had one and I shot it and I knew instantly that that was going to cost me a lot of money because I fell in love with it. Like I would have loved to have taken that pistol home with me. So, um, like three months later, I placed my order. Another one of my buddies out there, Ricky, uh, if you guys see him on Instagram, Ricky Racine, he ordered his in October, you know, right around the same time. I know he shot Brandon's and he put his order in and, uh, he's got the all black one and it's, it's, that's a beautiful piece as well. Um, it is so hard to describe these pistols. It's hard to even photograph them sometimes because you just can't capture all the details and how nice they really are in hand. Um, I think if you're buying one of these, like if you're, or if you're, if you're a 2011 guy, you already got the staccatos and you want to step up to the next thing. Infinity is it. I don't think you need to half step with these other, other companies because you're not getting, I don't think you're getting your money's worth, honestly. Um, it's just, to me, this is the logical next step is, is going up to the infinity. You might as well get something that's been truly hand built, hand fit, and every piece is made in house. Like every screw, every part, everything is done in house. The only thing I think they send out for is the coating. So this one does have the blast pattern and I had them do it as bamboo. It does do that underneath as well with some engraving that I had done, some custom engraving for my family. Um, I couldn't be happier. This is going to be an heirloom piece that I passed down to my kid um, and hopefully to his. And uh, yeah, like I don't know that I'll ever hit the round count to have to do those replacement parts, but um, he may. So that's why I did it. Uh, so you can see the barrel. So I try and get this to focus. There we go. Now the cleaning cycle on this, they do say uh, they recommend every 250 to 300 rounds to clean it. This gun cleans so easy. Literally, I just wipe it or you can even use oil to clean it. Uh, you don't really have to use any harsh chemicals. Like it all just wipes right off. Uh, so like I said, it's had the second cleaning. Super easy, super quick. Um, only thing I would say I wish it kind of had was like, if there was a way to do a toolless guide rod, but they give you the little tool for the pin in the side and you can get that out. It's not, it's not that bad at all. Um, I did do the TLR one on this, as you guys can see, it sits nice and flush. If this, uh, SRO gives the, gives up the fight on me, I will be going back to the hollow sun though, but it, just look at the detail. I mean, you can see where it ramps up and it fits perfectly under this optic. Like you can tell it's been cut for this optic. And if you guys have ever seen his acro cuts, they're, I think, the lowest that I've ever seen on a cut. So, I mean, it's just the level of work uh, down to the screws. Like, look at these. These are, never seen a screw like this for the optics. Uh, he's got his own little pattern for the, the bit.
just a beautiful, beautiful piece of, piece of artwork. And it shoots so well. The triggers fit very nice. As you guys know, I'm a snob when it comes to triggers. There's like no play up or down. It's, it's very minimal. And there's no side to side. And when I put this on the gauge, it was coming in at 1.14 pounds on the trigger. It's super light. There's a good amount of take up, thankfully, which I like. He does that, I think, intentionally, uh, you know, to make sure that you've got a little bit, of, a little bit of room before you get on that wall, and you know you're there, and it just breaks. It's super clean. It's the best trigger I have. Uh, honestly, I couldn't be happier. Brandon's done a phenomenal job with this met every expectation, and I, I, once again, it's hard to put into words. All I can urge you to do is if you know somebody with one, shoot it. Um, every, you know, my brother shot this one already, and he's planning on an Infinity himself. One of his buddies just ordered one. Um, I think, honestly, if you're going to be stepping it up from a staccato, this is where it's at, but just know once you shoot it, uh, once you get your hands on one and feel it, you're going to be in for an expensive next trip because I, I think you're going to be buying one. Um, I would, like I said, I would pass on the other brands uh, unless you're in love with them for some reason. But this is the next logical step to me is once I'm, once I'm out of the STI staccato, which I have all the ones that I want currently with a, a staccato, this is where I went uh, is the infinity. And to me, it's just the next logical step. So yeah, uh, 1911 Syndicate did a very nice video on, on their builds, uh, but I wanted to show this one to you guys. So if you guys uh, know much about me, you know that I've, I've been big into the Staccatos and STIs, and, um, or STI before they turned to Staccato, and I've been collecting those guns for many years. I got into the platform in 2012 and bought a lot of these pistols, and, you know, STI is, is essentially the originator, but SVI, Infinity, that family, Sandy Stryer, uh, was part of the original STI. Um, they went off and did their own company, and you know they've been doing these customs and amazing race guns for a long time. Uh, he does do EDC guns um, and pretty much anything that you could really imagine when he does open up the books to customs. And I, I wanted the other side of that history. Uh, so you know I have legacy models of the STIs. I had the whole line of Staccatos and love them. I, I'm not saying anything bad about Staccato. I love those pistols, and they are they are very purpose driven, and they still serve a wonderful purpose. And I, I they're never going to leave my uh, my safe or my collection. But I wanted the other side, and I, I wanted to go full out, and that's why I did the Infinity. Um, definitely a goal that I reached, and I think I'm going to reach for it another time, probably for another custom. Um, not just yet, still recovering from this one, but uh, that is in the future. Uh, I haven't decided exactly how, how I want to go on the next one. I don't know if it'll be something even kind of crazier than this one, like something f like further out there, because I do have a build in mind for that, or if I'll be doing something a little bit more simple, like just like basically uh, duty, hard use driven, uh, so this one can kind of just hang out in the safe. But uh, I plan on shooting this one quite a bit more than I originally thought. And uh, yeah, I can't say enough wonderful things about this. Uh, everything, every piece of this pistol um, just screams quality. Uh, the grip feels amazing. Um, every piece of it is just, you can tell they care uh, about these pistols before they leave the, the building and ship out to you. The shipping is super cool. Uh, overnight, um, nice, <laughs> nice box with everything that comes with it. And uh, mine got delayed, though, unfortunately, because of the snowstorm, but no worries on that at all. Uh, this is, it's incredible. They give you a phone call. It's very personalized. They talk to you about the pistol a little bit, uh, let you know what to expect, ask you for your FFL. You get all that over to them, and it's like, it's like lightning. They ship it so fast. So uh, it's totally worth the wait. It doesn't matter how long the wait is. These guns are amazing. If you can find one um, already built, I think Elevated Gunworks and a couple other companies usually order them regularly to sell them and uh that's one way of doing it uh they're doing their drops which are cool um but if you want a full custom you might have to wait a while if he's going to open up the books back to do that again but super glad that i got in when i did and ordered it and 
uh, totally worth every minute. So. All right, so I also wanted to show you guys one of the cases that I had made. So I have the Infinity case that you guys saw. Um, this is a Vault 300, I believe, and I had the inserts done by Range Panda. So just wanted to show you guys this one. He's on Instagram. He uh, does a lot of cool cases for, you know, any any gun, basically, but does a lot of cool Infinity stuff. So here it is. So the lid, he does the interior, um, whatever you want him to do, basically. Um, so here I've got the pistol, uh, matching chopsticks, and a large fortune cookie. This does actually open. It's kind of cool. And then I've got four mags and then just a spare spot there for anything extra, um, any random stuff that we want to put in there. Uh, I do have a total of five mags, and uh, the other one just goes in the pistol. So there we go. Uh, he, he, he had a little bit of a, a lead time on him. It just depends when you catch him. Uh, he's usually pretty quick. He's super responsive on everything. Uh, very accommodating. Uh, he definitely will make sure that, you know, he, you're happy with it. He'll make sure that, you know, it's exactly what you want. Uh, and if there's any issues, like I had one small issue, he actually reprinted, um, or recut the, the top foam for me. So it's gotten a little dirty cause you know, hands got dirty when I'm, you know, using it and whatnot, but uh, super cool case, uh, really nice presentation on it, stoked on it. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys was <clears throat> the holster that I had done by Bitterroot Gun Leather. Uh, Caleb over there is a complete genius when it comes to leather. Uh, I told him that, you know, I wanted a, a new holster for the Infinity. I gave him the measurements, and when it was almost done, I sent him a few pictures of uh, some progress photos that I had gotten, and uh, he went to work on it. And I told him that, you know, he could do whatever he wanted pretty much, but I would like something, you know, panda themed or bamboo themed uh, to go with the pistol and, and kind of like keep that color concept. So, you know, like a black and a white. So he did uh, a hand dyed leather. Uh, you got black and then he hand dyed this so that it was gray and put a bamboo pattern in it that you can see here. So like the stalks of the bamboo and the leaves and uh, did a white stitch and same with the back. This is an outside the waistband holster incredible job i mean it's it's lined nicely i mean i have no no concerns this holster it fits really well the other thing is the retention on this is silly so you can see here i'll take the pistol out you can see how it snaps in so, I mean, it's not like a click like Kydex, but this is the closest you'll ever get on a leather holster that I can, I can imagine. It's a good fit. You're not, not worried about losing the pistol while it's in there. You know, the retention is nice, so. Kudos to him, man. Just a, an absolutely phenomenal job. Um, this was a really nice treat for me to finish off a custom build. Is you know, a custom case, custom holster. Um... I couldn't ask for more. This was a really fun project. So just wanted to shout out a couple of cool, you know, custom companies that do some really neat stuff. If you're looking to kind of um, have a nice setup for your pistol or a nice case, a nice holster, uh, the weight on the holsters is kind of long. Uh, generally, I think the last two times I've ordered holsters from him, it's been about eight or nine months. Um, my pistol took a year. So, I mean, I ordered this a couple months after this, uh, after the pistol and they showed up at the same time. So very cool, uh, very affordable, uh, especially for the level of work and materials. You cannot go wrong with this. So I uh, just want a huge shout out to them and um, Range Panda. So Bitterroot Gun Leather and Range Panda for the, the case. Check them out.